G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Solo mission today, got my four token crab pots, got some fishing rods, gonna flick some soft plastics, possibly some hard bodies, got my cast net, try and catch some live bait on low tide, and uh, see how we go. Now, massive run in the tide today, which isn't good, so it's a 3.2 meter high down to a 0.9, so two and a half meters of run. Got to wait for the tide to drop out a bit before I have a fish, but let's go put some crab pots in. So I am trapped in this tiny little creek until the tide turns, which is just after lunch but I can travel the full length of this creek. It's about two meters deep, which is good. So might have a cast, got a Z-Rec paddle, paddle tail and uh, cast some of these shady areas around the mangroves here. See if we can't pick up a fish. Oh no, we've gone for a colour change, darker purple one. See how that one goes. All right, so flicking those softies around wasn't very successful. Uh, time to draw a couple of lures. Head on down to the mouth and see how much water's down there. All right, so no luck trawling either. Anyway, this looks like an easier spot to catch some liveies. There's some right there. See if we can get some set up across this hole here, up near the entrance, runs out to the ocean, and I fish with some liveies in here. See if we can't catch us something. There's a few little ones. And a snag. Oh, straight on a friggin' stick. So it pulls off it. Couple more there. All right, so we got some liveys. Let's pin a couple on and see if we can't catch a barra or a jack. Pretty small, so I'll put two on at a time. There we go. Oh, get the bite. Get the bite. Oh, I'm on. This way. Little finger mark. Nice. I think he'll be legal. There's a fish. A 
Let's see what size he is out of curiosity. Oh, he's just over 30, about 32. Okay. Just beached the boat here. I need to chuck an anchor out. Deep hole through this area, three to four meters deep. Gets quite shallow as you get further out the mouth there. Just the last of the run out tide now. Here we go again. Half circle hook so you can't strike. Just gotta wait for them to hook themselves. Audio very quiet on the fishing front. Why can't I have a look at a couple of crab pots? Well, I wasn't expecting that to be high and dry. What have we got in there? Jenny's just got like empty. He'd be too small anyway. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about, but if you look closely at these sections here, my finger pushes in on every one of them. So that's an indication it's a fresh shell. There's not much meat in it. And when we talk about the sides popping, it's that section there. I don't know if you can see my hand or my finger. Try not let him bite me. Pushing that in, it's a soft, empty crab. He'd be way too small anyway. I'll let these guys go. there not sure if there'll be any keepers though they're all looking pretty small yep he actually is well he's not a very big crab much different to the last crab he's actually rock hard none of the body sections are moving at all and the side of his shell's hard. So he's a keeper. We'll tie him up. Another hard crab. And he actually touches too. Shit. Not big. That's the right color. Once again, rock solid on the bottom. And hard on the sides. Not a big crab, just legal. We'll take him. Let's see if we got anything here. Oh, there's an old pot tied off there. Very old pot. Few crabs, if that one's full, he's a definite keeper.
big crab. He's only got one nipper though, which is a bummer. Oh, I think he might be full. To be honest, a couple of cod there. Let's check these guys out. Here's our one claw. Yep, he's hard. Very hard. Chuck him in the esky. Probably should measure him first. Easy keeper. This one here might be too. Free cod. Very white, opaque looking, soft crab. Very flexible in the body sections. And try and get him to move his nipper. Very soft on the side there, he nearly got me. So we'll let those guys go. Let's see if I can get him out. It's pretty hard too, actually. And legal also. Fair bit of weight to him. Chuck him in the esky for now. It's a Jenny. Just move these guys away from me pot a little bit so they don't go straight back in. Righto, so there are a few different ways to tie up a mud crab. This is a, my preferred method. I think it's the safest, especially with kids in the boat. It's very easy to do. So get a hard surface like the side of your boat or an esky. Push him against the side. And put your foot against it. Can't go anywhere. Put the string under your foot. Go just past the flippers, between the flippers and the next leg. So you can see that's free to move through there and it's not going anywhere. Simply flip the string straight over the top of the nipper, get it past those spikes, pull it up and you can see the string is in the notch there, same as this side. So I can safely put my hands there, close to the claws of this crab and he can't bite me. Pull it tight. Okay, granny knot, toe on the knot, do a couple more and there you have a safely tied mud crab he can't go anywhere can't bite you I think that's the safest way to do it as I said especially with my kids in the boat let's tie another one okay crab number two now he's missing his flippers but you see he still has his flipper stubs there so that's what we're going to use. Same principle. Sit him on the floor, push him against the side of the boat, put your foot on it, string under your foot. Now make sure your string slides behind the two stubs. I'll move my foot. That's come out. So that's the groove you want to be in there. Just where I've got that. Oh, it's trying to push away. Okay, over the top of the nipper, pull it tight, over the top of this nipper. Pull it tight, granny knot, toe on the knot, and a couple more. That easy, he's tied up. So you can see where his flippers are missing here. The string does sit nicely behind the two stubs and it's not going anywhere. Okay, old one claw. A little bit trickier, same principle. Hold him against the side of the boat or your esky. String under your foot. 
in front of the flipper. He's got a stub on this side over his nipper. Pull it tight. And this one I go just next to his eye. Just like there would be a nipper there. Pull that tight. Pretty much the same, but with only one nipper. String behind the stub, string behind the flipper, over the nipper. Probably not the best tie job, that. All right, let's see if we can't pick up a fish along here. Tide's turned, it's running in. It's gonna be running in pretty hard pretty soon, but. Coming this way. Oh, buddy shark. You're kidding me. Just what I don't need. Wow, that was a big hit. Oh, I'm still on. Am I? Yep. Oh, it's got me into a snag. Still there. Right, I so failed miserably at the fishing. Time to pull the pots and head home. Already checked them once, put them back. Another tides run. Oh, that doesn't look like a bad crab there, maybe. No, I think he's too small. Get him out and have a look. What's he got going on? This one here doesn't look too bad. I wonder if he's full. Here's a keeper. Chuck him in the esky for now. size of this. What a beast. Appears to be full. All right. What about you? Whoops. Very 
very soft. This feels damn heavy too. The running tide seems to be the go. What's that big brown fella like there? Check. He does look a bit too small now. He is. They're all too small. Last pot. Definitely got some crabs in there. <sighs> And a cord again. Get out of these trees. Don't you get out on the floor. He can wait. Anything worth looking at. Too small. Too small. All of those are too small. Don't think he'll be big enough. No. What about this one? He's a keeper. We've got three in the bin. This is four, three in the esky to tie up. Four, five. 
crab sticks. And there it is, seven crabs. One person bag limit, nice. Well, the fishing was a bit ordinary today. But look at that, seven quality mud crabs. A couple of stonkers in here, I'll get them out. Beautiful. All right, that's the end of another crabbing mission. Fishing was pretty ordinary, massive tides, pretty windy, pretty tough going. Got a feed of crabs though. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching. See you next time.